Hi everybody and welcome to Scarborough Fair. Um, we say that to everyone who enters the store and because we're in our interesting COVID time right now, we have very few people entering the store. Um, so we just wanted to welcome you. Um, today we're going to talk about the um, interesting jewelry of Maya Lambrick. She is a Minneapolis based jewelry artist. She's young. I mean, compared to me, she's young. I think she's in her 30s. Um, her aunt had originally started the business and passed it on to Maya and she has just taken up the mantle and made it her own. Um, a lot of her work is very tribal. Um, she mixes prayer beads and cartilage and fish bones and it's just very interesting. We don't have all of those component trees today to show you, but we get new things in all the time. Not all of her product is on our website, but if you want to look to see what is on our website, you can go to our website at scarboroughfairshop.com, go to uh, designers, go to jewelry artists, and she's down the list on, um, on the jewelry designers, Maya Lambert. She has her own page. So today, I thought I would show you a few of her different stories. Um, this is kind of new for her. I'm going to stand up so you can see this. This whole kind of beading in gold is rather new for her. This is um, a moonstone or um, I have to look and see. It's either a moonstone or mother of pearl. Um, I love this piece. I'm not really much of a gold girl now that I've let my hair go natural. However, um, I thought this was quite beautiful. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to tell you right now that it is Oh, I can't even read it. Carved pendant gold overlay for wealth. Oh, and she um, researches what the different stones mean too. So wealth and prosperity, we all want that. Um, and I can't read the rest of it. I'm going to introduce you to Kelsey. She's here manning the uh, the mechanics of it. Say hi, Kelsey. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, honey, can you tell me what that says? This necklace is $425, and it's a nice length. Um, I think it's a, is it kindness? Oh, for wealth and kindness. Yeah. So we love that. And because there's a little bit of a pearl detail here, we thought we would show you some of her pearl earrings. So this is really beautiful. This is on a gold hook. I think you can see here how um, kind of tribal that is. I love that. That will never fall off of you with the pearl detail. Um, her earrings are really reasonably priced, I believe, for handmade jewelry. Um, this is $105. So I think that would work really well with this necklace. Oops, I'm doing that wrong. There you go. And then I also like these earrings. Oops. So these earrings are $95. Again, a nice deep hook so that it shouldn't fall off of your ear when you're either putting on a scarf or hugging somebody. Um, it's got, I think this looks a little bit um, Siamese or Thai uh, in its pagoda like here with a little gold pearl droplet. So I really think that these are lovely and kind of Asian inspired um, and they go very well with that necklace. And then here's another necklace kind of in that vein. So this has some open gold links with pearls and then set in um, this kind of gold medallion. And then this is a crystal. And then on the back, it has real interest. It's kind of a swirly um, design. I love that. So it's not going to scratch your sweaters or your silks. It's very smooth, but it has some interest. Um, nice and long. And since she's local, if you decide that this is too long for you, she can take out some links and she can um, make this to suit you. So love that. 
Um, I just wanted to show you too what I'm wearing. I'm wearing her little fringy tasseled earrings on gold. I thought it looked great with this black dress. Um, let me show you a couple other necklaces of hers. So this piece right here is one of my absolute favorites. So this is basalt for grounding the nerves. Well, we all could use that today. Um, it's also an antique brass bicone bead from Nigeria and an African horn pendant. This is, I think, the most amazing piece. Now, if you're into big jewelry, as, like I am, I think that this would really serve you. And the card is in my way, so that's why it's not hanging straight. There you go. So, love this. Let me back up so you can see the whole effect. So, it's, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy. And one of the things I like about this piece is that you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with gold, you can wear it with burnished gold, I think you could wear it with burnished silver. Um, I probably wouldn't do it with shiny silver. Here are the Nigerian prayer beads, and then this is the African horn, and that's probably off of uh, one of the antelope species, I would assume, with some brass detailing love this. This is $240. Another really interesting piece, at least one that I'm very attracted to, is this one. So I love this. I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure it's ancient. Um, but I think the design of it to me just really speaks to me. And these beads are um, lava. So they're lava and they're covered in titanium so that they don't rub on your clothes and get lava all over your clothes. She calls this a Buddhist lightning bolt for the, the destruction of evil. And then there are some pyrite beads here for memories of love. Love that. Um, and then with this necklace, which also has some chain detail up here. So again, she could shorten this for you if it's too long. I really love these earrings. So these are also pyrite, I'm sorry, not pyrite, lava that are covered in um, titanium and kind of burnished. And so I think that these really work well together. So I'm sorry that this is not ideal in the way that you can't see the whole necklace at one time unless I stand up and then you can't see my face. Um, these earrings are $85, and this necklace is $350. And so keep in mind, not everything is on our website, but we can certainly help you either by emailing us or sending us a, mem a memo on Facebook, uh, whatever works for you. All right, and then I'm going to show you one more necklace. These are quartz stones with a really beautiful crystal hanging from it. This is slightly shorter, um, so this is good for a more petite woman, although I enjoy wearing this myself. Again, love this piece. It really speaks to me. I feel very spiritual about whatever this is doing. Um, I'm sure it's grounding us. Let's see what it says. It's a smoky quartz capped by hand in a Nepalese piece defending against harm. Okay, I'm just getting too old to read this. And pyrite. Anyways, this piece is 
$360. And I also thought that these earrings, now these are Labradorite, and so that is one of my favorite stones. So while it's not the same, I think it really works well together. Um, I love Labradorite. It's the stone of uh, inner journeys and transformation. Um, these earrings are $105. I think these are really one of the best pieces here. And then lastly, we also have these beautiful black crystal earrings, also $105. They're black onyx with gold. I'm going to take one off so you can see how lovely they are. So it's a nice deep hook. Okay. So let us know if you have any questions about Maya Lambrecht. We'll be putting more of her work on our website. Um, and uh, it was our pleasure to be with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, come back in about half an hour. We're going to do a little show on uh, Fickle Sticks, which is another woman designer of jewelry, but in a completely different style. So thank you so much and have a good morning.